Ladies and gentlemen, let's play dance. Please welcome the number five seed, England's Ted Hanky. Please welcome the number two seed, Ronnie Baxter! Well, there we have it. You can see the atmosphere. Big build-up, and I'm sure that these two players will oblige with the standards that we've shown us through the week. We'll be taking the practice darts, and there is the trophy of the world. Some many, many great players on that trophy. 23 years ago, it was Leighton Reese. Five times Eric Bristow, but tonight a new champion. Will it be Ted Hankey? Or will it be the Rocket, Ronnie Baxter? Well, we're going to find out. These are just the practice starts. All I can say is get the best seat in the house. Get the flask of tea by the side because I think you're in for some excitement. Another three darts to go. It's the best of 11 sets is the final. The stage is set for a grand final at that. And John, I'm sure you'll have one or two words. Yes, and I'm certainly expecting a lot Thank of you, high scores first set, first and some high set, finishing. Ted to first. Get on, please. First out of the final. And it's Hanky. 45. Just one more maximum. We're taking past the record of the championship, which was 39 by Raymond Barnabald. Switching. 100. Well, he seems the favourite as far as the players are concerned, and as the bookies go, he's 15 to 8 on his Baxter. He could have 11 to 8. 140. Yes, and uh, Ronnie already looking to take advantage in this first leg of the match. 140. He's only missed one dart so far out of six. The other five in the treble beds. The winner's check, £44,000. 100! In actual fact, John, there's £22,000 on the match, if you look at it that way. Yes, and uh, there's no other match in this tournament 94. that compares uh, to this final. I mean, the final, it's, it's twice as difficult to face as the semi-final. Just a whole other experience. 140. Down to the nitty gritties. Only require 90. For the first leg. Options here could go for the bull. Or treble 18. He's gone for 60. So double 15. Well, seven leaves double 82. four. 82. Ted requires 76. Treble 20. Well, 73. Can treble 19 double eight? So 14 for double top. 36. Ronnie require 8. Very fast players. It's on with the job at double four. Double two. Now double one. Six. Ted, you require 40. Double top, his favourite double. It's double ten. And it's double five. 35. No jingling. This is what Ronnie happens. Require it's two. the effect. It's just the whole other thing entering the final stage. The nerves are tingling. It's a good marker. No score. Take your require five. Single one, double two. Double two. 
Double one. No score. I've never seen this as a start of a championship really game. Two. And it's still, we have to remember, it's just a break opportunity. No score. Ted, you require five. One, double two. Double two. That's the marker he's looking for. Three. But obviously the expression tells you that that wasn't in. Two. Okay, and his room. Or oh, Madhouse. It's double ones apiece. No score. Well, in the semi finals, we'd have got through the first two. set by now. Double one. No score. <laughs> Ronnie, you require two. Well, never have we seen it before. It's got the crowd going. That's Rachel, is Ronnie's girl. Rachel Pallister. No score. Take you require two. Well, when they was practicing outside, they was practicing on the trebles. I think the doubles is the one they should have practiced on. Double one though. Well, the smile's all right. <laughs> I should say, what a great leg to win. <laughs> well, Tony, I've seen uh, players Second win sets leg, in that right many darts. Right first. Game on. 29 darts. <laughs> That's what it was. But still. <laughs> 43. I think we'll settle down in a minute. Well, it certainly does help to settle you down. You just get that one bad leg, the one... Gets all the nerves out of you, then. 60. Especially the newcomers. I mean, they need a set, don't they? Accustomed to the throw. 140. The other thing, John, is that when they're practicing, they're outside, they're on a different board. They're there for about an hour and a half, two hours. 123. Well, I think perhaps the uh, pre match hype, you know, on players. Could hear all the uh, interviews and everything else being said, and 100. I think perhaps just built the uh, adrenaline level a little too high when they come out on the stage. It's awfully hard to shut out uh, everything you hear going on just prior to when you go 121. on. 121. But Baxter, with the advantage of this leg, it's on the throw. 45. Slipping. And Hank his chance. for 19s. 97. No out shot, 173. One hundred. Take your require. One hundred. Trouble twenty, double top. Still trouble twenty for double ten. It's double ten for two nil, first set. Yes, game shot. Second leg. Ten hanky. Two nil it is then to the Hanks. Third leg, Ted to row first, game on. Well, that leg was in almost half the darts of the first leg, so definitely settling in a 15 dart leg. 100. And Ronnie having beat uh, Scott Wollaston, the American, Bobby George, Colin Monk, Co Stompe. 140. All the way to the final. Ted, Bob Taylor. Steve Douglas, Kevin Painter, Chris Mason. Well, the cheers ring out. That is the record now. 40 180s in the tournament. 28. And he's looking really good for this first set. And that record was held by still world champion uh, until this match. And the final is go, Ray Barnabold. 100. Take your score, 121. Trouble 20. You go for 11 and ball. Well, he's gone for 25, double 18. 93. Uh, in fact, if uh, if Ted was to repeat his performance in the semi of the semi-final, he'd end up with the... Uh, 61, 180, so we never know what kind of record 50. might end up, end up being set here. Change you require 28. Double 40. Yes, 
James Short and of course set to Hanky. That's the first set to Hanky. Second set, first leg, Ronnie to throw first. Game on please. So the players now have settled down. We're moving on now. First leg. 140. Second set. Now Ted stands right across the hockey. 134. And he's carrying on now where he left off against Chris Mason. Best embassy semi final we've ever seen. 140. There it is. And there are some names on there. Leighton Reese was the first champion, going back 23 years. In actual fact, it was legs then. 100. Best of 21 legs. Now it's set. In actual fact, if it went all the way, it would be 61 legs. Big difference. 100. And John Park's name is on that trophy as well, John. Yes, and uh, it's something you never forget. 60. Ronnie Require, 121. Uh, counting his chances, but here's an outshot. Treble 17, maybe? Well, just playing it safe. 39. And the uh, safe way doesn't always pay, Tony. Well, not really, because 82 is still uh, could be using up three darts. 167. 60. Ronnie Require, 82. It's Rachel. Sits there patiently. Could be ball double 16, single 17, double top. Bend 42. the wire. Ted, you require 147. Trouble 20. No, so it'll be double top for Ronnie Baxter after these three. 87. Yes, and he's still looking for his first uh, double of the match. 50. So still a little nervy, perhaps. Double top, double 10. 30. Well, he's missing the doubles that he was hitting. Require 60. 20. It's his favourite double top. Yeah, King Short and the first leg. Ted Hanky. Four legs on the trots. Second leg, Ted to row first. Game on. Well, Ronnie is uh, hitting doubles. He was hitting high finishes. Everything in his semi final match. 140. It was clinical. Well, it's just, I think it, this is showing just how important it was whoever hit that double one in the very first leg of the match. No Ted idea. hit it, and now he's settled in to Ronnie yet to find a double of the match. One hundred and forty. One big thing going for Ronnie is the fact that he has been in a final. Last year he lost 6-5 to Raymond Barnabald. Fifty-nine. There's the hand that could hold the crown. 80. Had one or two bounce outs throughout the week. Not very happy for the players. 30. Ted to require 141. Well, treble 20 would have helped. 121 left. 118. 43. And there's Mike Gregory. Well, we saw the greatest final ever here against Phil Taylor and Mike. 22. And that one did go 61 Taylor legs. 98. Trouble 20. Well, he may not go for double 19, his options. We'll see. He's gone for it. 60. And the reason he went for it. 292 points still required for Ronnie Baxter. 81. Ted to require 38. Still double 19, but he may have gone for 14 and double 12. This is the double he was missing. Yes, game shot. And a single leg. Double 12, double Ted tops. Hanky. Third leg, Ronnie to throw first. Game on. It's a bit unusual, a player that prefers double 12 to double 16, but uh, 99. he likes to stay on the either the double top or that double 12. But in honesty, it nearly lost him the semi-final against uh, Chrissy Mason at double 12. 140! It's been a full house from day one. 
they've had some enjoyment. 100. If you're wondering what that is, that's the score pad. That's what the players go by. 90. Well, the, ch the title will be coming back to England for the first time since 1996. 100. Well, there they are. There's the lads. Chelsea pension. Ever present. 140. Yes. There's a few years amongst those gentlemen. And a few medals as well. Wow. Good shot from Ronnie there. Pressures this out shot. It's a treble 20. Treble 17. Or treble 13. There's 59 left, so 19 would leave double top, Tony. And there it is. 91. Ronnie requires 62. For his first leg, treble 10, double 16. Single 12, he likes double top. He's gone for double 16 for a change. 30. Well, he wasn't hitting double top. Ted, you require 40. But he's hitting double top, is Ted. Double 10. Yes, game shot. And a second set. Ted Hankey. Well, we saw that first leg. <laughs> first set, first leg. Ted to throw first. Game so, on, please. Took about five or six minutes, but uh, as soon as he hit that, Ted is already two sets up and cruising. 83. Well, John, this is a turnaround for us, isn't it? Well, it's just a matter of when uh, Ronnie starts playing, but uh, he doesn't want to leave it too late. 177. He's had two 177s. I think it's worth mentioning, John. You can finish still on a nine-dart finish from that score. 140. Well, certainly can. As Robbie Widow's enjoying it. I think we've all been surprised at uh, Ronnie's slow start, however. 140. Ted certainly in the form, though, that he uh, showed in the semi-final. Definite chance to win a leg now. A little breathing space. And against the throw as well. It's only his uh, seventh through ninth starts there. So will we see a 180 knot after that first half? And the, no finish at all. So uh, all Ronnie the pressure off of Ronnie, four. but he hasn't has yet to hit a double. Trouble 20 leaves double 12. Double 12. Good marker. Yes, game yeah. shot. That will be a relief. Well, his fans have not had much to cheer about, but they're there now, giving him everything. Single leg, Ronnie to throw first. Game on. Yeah, 12 dart leg. And that's what we were seeing all day yesterday from Ronnie Baxter. 60. 60. This is what we were seeing from. Steve Nicholas, the referee. One hundred. So a maximum with the first throw. Sixty-four. Covered well. Nine is the lowest score of the championship. 85. Well, Ted's in good shape to break right back here in the set. Would be disappointing for Ronnie. 140. Well, he's down on the finish of 117. 121. Ted, you require 117. So, trouble 20, trouble 19 leaves double top. Double top for a 117 out shot. 77. Well, we saw the top way ahead. Ronnie require 135. Could take the ball of 25. Well, is it the three? So 132 left. Nine. Well, there it is. Ted, you require 40. Double top. Double 10. 
Yes. Right in the corner. Shot. And the second leg. Ted Hanky. Breaks back. Third leg, Ted to throw first. Game on. Well, that was strange, yeah. John, we've had 2 9 9 scored in the championship, and then Ronnie, just after I'd mentioned it, goes and gets a 9. 60. Well, a dubious achievement. But uh, it was Ted with the 14 dart leg that take, took the advantage 99. right back in this set. So uh, a bit of trouble for Ronnie. There's the stance. Ted Hankey, heel to the Aki. 60. He's right at the very right edge of that Aki as well. Shoots across the two, towards the left. There's Ronnie. He's much so first. Central. One hundred eighty. Well, they're loving that. Them high out shots, the maximums, and they've had everything. One hundred and forty. Yes, we're seeing a lot of fight out of Ronnie now because uh, he's looking to get yet another break. He really, I don't think he can afford to lose this set. One hundred. He's certainly not uh, taking any chances because he's on a two dart out shot. 130. The pressure is on. Ronnie require 82. Bull leaves double 16. 17 leaves double top. It's double top. 62. Another chance here for Hanky. Ted require 107. Trouble 20. Well, is it 15? Can still finish. Trouble 20, leaves double 16. Double 16. Yes, game shot. And a third leg. That will have shot Ronnie Ted Baxter Hanky. to the roots. Fourth leg, Ronnie to throw first. Game off. Well, his name is Rocket, but he hasn't taken off yet. 100. But, uh, still trouble for Ronnie. If he holds his throw here, Ted will have the advantage in the deciding leg of the set. 100. Well, there's Steve Duke, Martin and Sharon Adams, all the players in attendance. 140. Many other stars with us today, John. 60. Roger Black, one of the greatest athletes in Great Britain. 59. From the snooker world, we've got John Higgins, Stephen Hendry, seven times world embassy champion. 96. A couple more welcome. There is Stephen. 100. Ronnie require 145. Trouble 20, trouble 15, double top. Trouble 15. So trouble, trouble 18, he'll go. 93. And I expect Ted to uh, pressure his shot. 100. Ronnie require 52. 12 leaves double top. Double top. Double ten is rushing them. 32. Ted, you require 80. For another set. Trouble 20. Single 20 now. Double top. Oh, 16. just under. Ronnie to save Ronnie it. Ronnie require 20. Double ten. Yes, game shot. Fourth leg. Ronnie Baxter. But as John said, he's still in trouble. Right first. Game on. It's Ted with a throw. Already away. And this is looking good. One it's there. It's another. The bats are flying. 135. Four. 140. Five trouble twenties and a leg that will give him the set. Eighty-one. Forcing Ronnie into errors. 
Yes. 101 left. 100. Well, he's left 81, and this is the finish that he was missing consistently against Chris Mason in the semi final. Well, oh, great shot from Ronnie to get himself to at least do a chance if Ted misses. 81. Trouble 19. Well, that's 9, so 72. Well, 12 for leaving him double top if 41. he should get a throw. Ronnie require 145. For the set. Trouble 20. Yes. Trouble 15. Unlucky. 79. Ted, you require 40. Nothing for Rachel to cheer about. It's double top. Yes, Even Rachel. less now. And the third set. Donna Hankey. Applauding her husband. It's three Four sets to nil up. Ronnie to throw first. Game on. And off we go. First leg. 140. Fourth set. And we see some check out stats. Uh, Ted Hankey throwing 26, hit 9, 34.61%. Uh, pretty much average, but uh, Ronnie Baxter there throwing 23, only hit the 2. 96. 8.69%. Uh, about 29 of those was thrown in the first leg of the match, as we also. 180. Well, applause there from Rachel. Another maximum for the count. 59. There we are. It's been a relentless job there for the new Mercator. That gives all the areas of a large dartboard. 60. For the audience. And there's our ladies that scored all week. Mary Hawkins, Lorna Croft. Ninety-eight. Ted, you require 161. Trouble 20, yes. Trouble 17, he'll be going for it. 84 left, trouble 20. 97. Ronnie, you require 108. Well, he could go for 19s here. Another, a treble 19. Yes, double 16. 76. Just click the wire. Ted, you require 64. Donna looking on. Maybe eight, double top. He doesn't like double 16. Yes, that's the first leg. Ted Hankey. That's the Hanky family. Second leg, Ted to row first. Game on. Three sets to love. First leg, fourth set. And here we go again. 180. Well, you could have put another three darts in there. All in the right-hand corner. Already a handful. Five is had. 140. So that's 44 for the championship. 180s. 100. 140 behind on this leg. 100. to leave a handy finish and it will be on a finish 100 so only pressure with this shot from Ronnie but he's under pressure and those darts are spelling it out 30 change require 121 trouble 20 yes 61 left he's got time on his hand he's hit the ball instead of 25 so single throw 130 Leaves him eight. No out shot here for Ronnie. He must find a treble. 59. Still no out shot. You require eight. And that's his mum looking at double four. Yes, go short. And a single leg. Chet Hackey. Paul Williams looking on a bit Third everywhere. Leg, Ronnie to row first. Game on. Well, the player's favourite, the bookie's favourite was Ronnie. 100. And there's the match stats. Ted Hankey, 17 100s, 11 140s, 5 180s, 91.98 three dart average. Make that six 180s. And uh, Ronnie Baxter, 14 100s, 13 140s, 1 180, and only an 84.44 three dart average. And that's well below his champion, as so far in the championship.
what he's done. He's always been in the 90s before this. Yeah, 90.70. First, 90.85. 140! But Stephen Hendry, a lot faster game than what he plays. 100! Well, yes, they're out, even though it's daylight. One hundred. Down to eighty-one. The hairstyles have never changed, John. Ninety-five. Change your require eighty-one. Treble nineteen. Who's him sixty-two? Is going for the ball, and yes, it's there. He can't miss it. Then. And the fourth set. Ten hanky. Four sets to love. The Hankey family out there, everything to cheer. Fifth set, first leg, Ted to throw first. Came on, please. There's nothing Ronnie can do. Ninety-six. With a long way to go, but will it be Ted Hankey? As we are going at the moment, it's looking very much that way. Yes, and that was a 12-dart leg, finishing with the ball to take the four 100. set. In fact, uh, Ronnie's only won two legs in the match. He's been completely out of it. 100. Well, there's Mervyn and Vicky, his girlfriend, Mervyn King. But this man could be king today. 140! Already in command of this leg. 100! Not an out shot. 12 15 and leave him double top. 95! Captain's waiting. It's 70 left. 138. Ted, you require 70. Well, if he wants double top, it's trouble 10. He now wants single 20. Oh, he's bust. No score. And these are the kind of things that can turn around the match. Ronnie you require What 80. an opportunity. Treble 20. A single 20 for double top. And look at this. It just... 40. He knew how important that shot was. Change your require 70. Once again, treble 10. He's at 45. So 25 left. Double 12. That's his double he goes for. And he's got yes. it today. Game shot. First leg. Ted Hankey. It's a parade of legs and sets Ted leg, for Ted Hankey. Throw first. Game on. 100. Such a build-up. Everyone expecting Ted, An Ted Anke to do well and Ronnie Baxter to take it. But look at this, Anke. 112, 313s, 214s, 315s. Only one 12 dart finish for Ronnie Baxter. 140. Well, Ronnie's got to wake up. Well, that's the hand and the grip. Of Ted Ankey. 96. You'd have to think pretty much impossible to return from a 5 0 uh, set deficit. So you'd have to say a must win set for Ronnie Baxter. 60. And we saw the speed there of the Baxter. Well, John, you went in, didn't you? At 5 0. And look at this. Ronnie Baxter on a finish of 161. 161. Still 101 Ted left. So favourite for another leg. Treble 20. Could go for treble 14. No, he went for another treble 20. So 80, 62 left. Options here. Treble 10 would leave double 16. 90. Ronnie require 101. Vital one, John. Take it away. Yes. He's gone for 19. 82 left. Bull or treble 14. He hasn't done it, so he's left double 61. top. 61. It shouldn't get Ted a chance. Require 52. Two nil fifth. Double top. 
Yes, Kim Short. And the second lead. Ted Hackey. Four sets up, 2 0 up, fifth set. Third lead, Ted to throw first. Game on. Off we go again. And it's Hankey. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, it is. Well, Rachel, look at her. Dejected. But a man still goes on. Having faced eight. 100. Maximum in this match. That's five. Come on. Let's have another. Unlucky. 100. Thinking of the nine dart finish, £52,000 at stake, playing like a bat out of L jump. 100. Yes, and certainly Ronnie looks like uh, a man has already given up on it. 100. That's Donna Anki. 100. Ted, you require 81. Trouble 19. Well, he left 62. He may not go for trouble 10. Yes, he has. He's tried. So, single 12. 41. He knows he'll be coming back for double top. Needs them all. 100. Ted, you require 40. Double top. For five. Nil. Double ten. Twenty. Well, if Ronnie can just get Ronnie into this. One hundred and one. Save the set. Well, he's gone down below. He's gone for fifty-seven. Double top. Eighty-one. He's fast. He's furious. Ten to require twenty. But this is the one. Double ten. Yes, game shot. And the fifth set. Ted Hanky. Well, we've had about. 40 minutes of play, five sets to love, as Ted Anke leaves the stage. We're just taking a break. Well, I think, John, if the break's going to suit anyone, it has to suit Ronnie Baxter. But there it is, 5-0. And as we're looking here, John, John Hankey, five sets, 3 0, 3 0, 3 2, 3 0, 3 0. Yes, just a totally impressive performance. 41.66 checkout percentage, 93.48 three dart average. But we've also got some regular patrons of the Embassy final. They're sitting here on the front row. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a 6 0 scoreline. I mean, Ronnie's showing so absolutely uh, nothing, really. Chelsea he just can't get started. Looking after these rascals, as we like to call them, is the gentleman. Well, I'm just looking at the record books here. John Lowe whitewashed Leighton Reese in 1979. Uh, Eric Bristow did the same to Dave Whitcomb in 1986. Uh, Dennis Priestley beat Eric Bristow, of all people, perhaps, 6 uh, 0 in 91. And then in 1994, John Part. Beat you 6-0. Thank you. And it wasn't much fun, was it? <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, you know, when you lie at one set down, then two sets, then three, then four. I mean, Ronnie just, I wish he played like that against me. I'd have been there. I'd never seen him play like that. Terrible. It's all, he, he went for a big 20 out of one. It's all over the shop. Mm. But no, then, is that just nerves then? Well, he, I think, well, he started off wrong. I mean, the first, the first game, they had uh, 26 starts, Ted, to, for the first leg. And Ronnie had 27, and that is... Mickey Mouse starts for this tournament and you know he must have put him off and we started off when he just couldn't finish and I think that might have played on him embarrassment but Ted's just gone up he's hit eight ton eighties 47 ton eighties now he's got, he's got the he's got the record yeah well I'd like to say that uh, we've got somebody here with us in the series tonight There's, there are a few people in the world who know more about darts than Roger Black <laughs> So, <laughs> I you, came for the atmosphere, not the dart, <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't got it. <laughs> no. Uh, what, what are your impressions of all this? Well, this I mean, I, I came here, I live down the road, and I, I came because I thought the atmosphere at the, the World Dance Final is, is just mm. unlike anything else. It's so tight, it's so great, and I thought, I want to be part of that. So I came along this, this evening, and the atmosphere out there is, is, is very flat, isn't mm. it? I mean, it's just mm. disbelief. People are shocked. Uh, of, they just can't believe what they're seeing. Ronnie Baxter has missed 22 out of 24 outshots. 
So I can't work out the percentage there, but that it's is bad. Bad. less than 10%, isn't it? It's really bad percentage. It's bad percentage. I mean, yeah, I'm <laughs> disappointed. I yeah. made me sound like an idiot, really, because I thought you'd do the bits. Mm. Yeah. But I've never seen him well, play But he was 2-1 like on that. with the bookies. I mean, you know, it wasn't just you, uh, Bobby. Oh, yeah, no, everyone, but, everyone, but everybody felt yeah. like he was going to win this. Well, he got out of jail twice this week. Um, can he get out again? But it's going to be a, it's hard now. It's a bit like, I, mean, I imagine, it's like sort of chasing Michael Johnson, this, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it is. But it, it's what sport is all about, this. Because I, mean, I arrived here tonight, and everyone's saying only one person's going to win. And at this level, at the final, it's what's in here. And you can see there's one, man out, there's one man out there who is determined to win, and there's another man out there who, I don't know if he's given up, but he doesn't seem to be that interested, does he? And, and, and he's just, it's, just it's, it's, it's man against boy. It's what it looks like from the outsider, and it's, it's, it's a shame to watch, but that's the way it is. Well, I think he's getting embarrassed. To be honest with you. Yeah. If I was in his position, it's you get embarrassed, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah. think, come on, give us a chance. I mean, you go in the double top and he's half inch below. You know, he's not hitting the doubles like he's, he's a very dangerous man and he shots out, Baxter. Yeah. Today, it's not meant to be. OK, well, we'll talk more in just a second. Uh, talk about the slings and arrows of sport. Uh, this is our look back at what's been happening, the good, the bad and the ugly of the past 10 days. Let's play! And obviously our VT team put that together before this match started, but that last image, perhaps the most telling of the whole championship, a 180 from Ted Hankey. If you've just switched on, he's leading 5-0 at the halfway stage against Ronnie Baxter. No way back, is there? Well, there is. I mean, if he plays like Ted did in the first half, you know, but it's the odds of that are very remote. I like to see it because it would be probably the, the greatest sort of final ever if he come back, but it would be difficult for him. Very, very difficult. OK, well, we'll talk more with you at the end, of course. Uh, Roger, thanks very much indeed. Pleasure. Go and enjoy uh, whatever's left. I'm either going to witness one of the greatest <laughs> moments in sport or it'll be over in ten minutes. So. <laughs> OK. Well, uh, anyway, well, this could well be the uh, shortest final in history, but maybe, just maybe, there's a great fight back on the cards. Let's go back and rejoin our commentators. Please welcome back what? Ted Hankey, Ronnie Baxter. <laughs> well, we've seen a... Dazzling display from the count, Ted Hankey, as he just enters the stage area with Ronnie Baxter. Yes, and uh, with a practice starts, and as we're looking at records, John, uh, it's fair to note that uh, if Ronnie Baxter should lift the title, he's also won the Embassy Gold Cup Championship, which has never, ever been done by any other player in the world. Six set first leg, Ronnie to throw first, game on. The one thing about this is he is 5-0 down, but if, if he could somehow find his form, it 100. is actually possible to come back. Go, go, go. 
Well, anything's possible. 60. Because uh, momentum plays such a large part of the game. And uh, when you're hot, you're hot. And the, that's the same momentum that we saw in the first five sets, all with Ted. 140. Well, John, let's hope it's a game of two hours on behalf of Ronnie. Well, certainly in last year's uh, final, Ronnie was a force to be reckoned with. And he was uh, very close to, in fact, winning the title. And two darts at the double to win it. 140. In fact, well, it, you know, he has the attitude now, at this point in the match, well, he's got nothing to lose now. He's already been through the bad times. He's just got to go up and play darts. Ronnie, you require 120. Uh, needs a 1-2-1. One, one. Go for the 20s. Treble 17. If he wants to try it, yes, maybe he'll go for the bull. Well, he's played the safe shot. Leaves double top. Ted at 303. I thought he might just try and go for that for the momentum factor, but uh, seems to have uh, all the best of it right now. Anyhow, double top. A different man. Well, it was. He wasn't even pushed. Game on. Ninety-seven. One hundred and twenty-five. There's George Noble, referee, for this second half. One hundred. Well, the break certainly done uh, Ronnie a little bit of good. Taking that first leg. 16. And in fact, uh, with the 5 0 lead, it has to be running through Ted Hankey's mind now. Just get it over with, do it, don't let it slip away. And sometimes when you have the uh, protective thoughts rather than aggressive sporting instincts, that's when you can uh, slip into some trouble. 99. Ted, you require 164. Big shot, the highest of the championship, Steve Duke. He would have needed to treble 18 to leave bull. He has uh, 86 left, so treble 18 would leave 32. 96. It's 2,000 pounds for the highest out shot, and Steve Duke, he may be taking that back to Australia. Well, in fact, looking very good. As, uh, there might not be too much left of this final. Double four. Well, a chance now for 2-0 in the Ronnie set as Paul Williams watches on. Ronnie Baxter needs treble 19. 18 now. Double top. 37. And he has a little more snap in his throat, four. but still a miss. Double two for Ted. 18. It was hard work, but he got it. Well, just a slight glimpse of it. To throw first. Game on. One hundred and eighty. He certainly would have to say he's a different man since the break. Sixty. Well, not where the doubles are concerned, but like you say, Johnny's scoring power is coming back. And you've got to score there to get down to the double. Sixty. Well, in fact, Ronnie has the advantage of throw in this set. Started the first, third, and uh, maybe a fifth leg. 140. <laughs> 140. Thing is, John, these Lancastrians are good fighters, you know. And as I mentioned earlier, it's just when you get in the position to win like this, and you're so far ahead, you don't, you don't shoot aggressively anymore. You're just uh, tentative as you're just trying to reach and, and conclude the match. 81. But no finish for Ted. 100. And it was his favorite yesterday, double top. He's going to take his time now. Rushed a lot of shots earlier in the match.
When you think, John, we're in the sixth set and Ronnie is only one. One hundred and twenty-five. Well, he's won as many legs since the break as he did before the break, which is the really scary thing for him. One hundred and thirty-seven. One hundred. And Ronnie is really in a groove. 100. 140. Down jump to the finish. Yes, and Ronnie looking to get to a better one. Just in case. Yes. 140. Take the recoil, 136. It's two treble 20s. No, he's got, he likes the 16s, but it uh, won't happen now. 129 left, 114 left. 82. Ronnie, you require 124. A good chance for this. We'll start with the 20s. Treble 18. Can't do it now. 92. Take the recoil, 54. Well, he'll go for the 14 for double top. Double 10. Yes, these are the nervous starts when you're uh, Ronnie, you trying to get it done. 32. But 32 for the set. Double 16. No score. Oh, I thought it was in. And can you believe it? It looked in from every Take angle, even Ronnie's. 20. Double 10. Double 5. Going shot in a fourth leg. Say thank you. Fifth leg, Ronnie to throw first. Game on. This is the big one, John. Yes, could be the last leg of the final of the championship. 43. And uh, certainly opening the door for the count, Ted Hankey. He, he, he just senses he's so close. He's just trying to put it in instead of just being aggressive about it. Yes, he looks relaxed. 84. Perhaps too much desperation in Ronnie Baxter at this point to take advantage of the little bit of tension that's creeped into Ted. Well, against Bobby George. 58. And also against uh, Costompe, who was really hitting the cover shots as well. 41. The reason why it's hard for Ted is it's such an emotional thing to win that championship. When you, when you feel you're just about to do it, and... and it's very hard to keep yourself under control and composed. One hundred and ninety. Well, he's looking composed there. Certainly an advantage. Eighty-five. So Ted has at least six starts. May go for the bull. If he hits twenty-five, it would leave one seventy. He's thinking about it. Yes, 170 left. 48. What could happen now? <laughs> what a way to take the title as Donna's there. And have an extra 2,000 pounds. <laughs> and the 60. pressure's off. Is Ronnie without Ted a finish? It's two treble 20s. Ted Hankey. There's one. There's two. The bullseye for the title. Yes! What a shot, shot to win a world shot. champion! Just don't know what's hit him. It's incredible, Tony. Oh dear. It's all right winning a title for the first time, John. But 170. Look at the Anki family there. There was no Anki Panky was there. Six nil. When all over, it could have been Ronnie Baxter's favourite. But there it is. Everybody here. John, it was tremendous. You couldn't ask for anything more out of a finish to a championship. Well, we've seen everything, Rachel. We've seen her jumping up and down, but it's Ted Anke, the number fifth seed.
Doesn't Thank know you, where to go. Will you now please Marvelous welcome sense. the presentation party. Please welcome Mr. Graham Blashill, the Managing Director UK, Imperial Tobacco Limited, accompanied by Peter Dyke from World Promotions. <laughs> to receive a cheque for £22,000, this year's runner-up, Ronnie Baxter! Ronnie Baxter! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what can one say? A new millennium, a new Embassy World Champion. To receive a check for £44,000, a magnum of Lance of Champagne and the Embassy World Dance Championship Trophy. Embassy 2000 World Champion, Ted Hanke! Embassy champion of the 21st century, Ted Hanke. <laughs> Ted, would you like to say something? Wow. Ladies and in actual fact, his manager did say before I came back on stage, Ted won't be able to say anything. When you're walking away from this great tournament, the greatest in the world, 44,000 pound richer, and just a couple of years ago, you were playing in our great county system, and was what you can say was a county player. Now you're top of the tree, you're the Embassy World Champion, Ted Hanke!
Now the happiest man in the world today.